What's going on, everybody? It's Salami Loop. Thanks for coming back to Are They Mid. Today we're talking about Denzel Curry. Before I get into it, I just want to tell everyone to like, share, subscribe to the channel. It means a lot. Hit the bell. Uh, share this everywhere, please. And um, follow my TikTok. Follow my Instagram. Do all of that. Links are going to be in the description box below. And without further ado, let's get into it. First up on the list is Nostalgic 64. This album is decent. Uh, I like it. It's kind of like an old school vibe with very, very old school ish, like 2013 ish vibes with the rapping and how it feels and stuff like that. Uh, Benz is a good song. Zone 3 is a good song. There's a song on it called Parents. I guess if you don't like your parents, then you can listen to that song. The only issue with this is that it's only, from what I know, it's only on SoundCloud and YouTube, I believe. I don't know if it's on Spotify. Um, it's not on Apple Music, and that's the main one I use, so that's an immediate red flag for me. Taboo is a very good album. Uh, I like how artists are able to switch up their styles, which Denzel does in a couple of these albums. It's really, really cool to watch him do this. But um, it's really dark and twisted and stuff like that, which, I mean, I get it. It's cool, but not everybody goes for that. You know, the only other person I can think that does dark and twisted stuff is, like, early Eminem, which is awesome but it gets stale. So that's why this album didn't, I feel like it didn't really have the longevity it did when it dropped. Zoo is a good album. It just doesn't have the longevity. Taboo, just like Taboo, it just does not have the longevity that they're the replay value at all for this this artist. Um, he, uh, it's pretty good. You know, I recommend giving it a listen, but it just does not have the, the uh, replay value at all. Yeah, this album just does not have any replay value. It uh, There's like maybe two songs on it that you're going to think are catchy, but if you don't like freestyling, then like rough freestyling, southern freestyling like that, that's kind of the vibe you get. You're not going to like this album. You know, nah, you're not going to like it. <sighs> Imperial. Imperial is really good. You get a lot of old school vibes from this album. The features on it are good. Naughty Head with Rick Ross is a banger. Zenith with Joey Badass is a banger. Uh, this Life is good. There's just a lot of songs on this album are, are just really, really good. But if you see in this day and age, if you don't really like old school vibe music, if you weren't really around old school music in your life, then you're probably not going to like this type of music just because it reflects on that. And... I get it. Old school rap is not for everybody, but if you're like me and you're just a sucker for it, you're going to really like this album. So, yeah, Imperial, great, great album. Now, number one on this list, before we get into it, I just want to let you guys know about an honorable mention. Uh, it's his collab album with Kenny Beats, Unlocked. This album is very good. I would have had it in the lineup, but technically it's considered a collab album, so I'm not going to throw it in there. But yeah, great, great album. Uh, uh, very comic booky, kind of resembles a Wu Tang Clan album. So yeah, yeah, not bad. My number one for this artist is the uh, the newest album he has out right now. It's called uh, "Melt My Eyes, See Your Future." Let me tell you guys something. Um, I slept on Denzel Curry for a very, very, very long time. I thought this guy did not have the potential at all to be anything big like this and then he dropped this album and my fucking face was blown off the map because this album is just so good it's a very trippy vibes you get from it very awakening spiritually it's just really really good he has artists on there that i believe are up and coming because i've never heard of these artists before there's maybe two or three i've heard but other than that, album's really great. Um, features are great. The lyrics are great in general because Denzel Curry is just really good lyrically. Great album. Highly recommend you listening to it. I feel like Denzel Curry is a solid 6 out of 10. And I'm going to tell you this right now. He is a very good artist. Now, if you look it up and see people's opinions on Reddit and stuff like that on forums of that kind, it's just... It's a non-ending battle. People are like, he's the best rapper alive. Nah, this dude's trash. Nah, what are you talking about, dude? Like, it, it's just one of those. And I believe he told the public after he dropped his newest album that he's the best rapper of all. And I'm sorry, dude. Nah. Right now, you're mid. Very, very, very good artist. Very good with everything he does. Lyrics, great. Songs are good. 
I feel like they don't have the replay value. I don't feel like you're going to walk into like a club and then you're just going to hear Denzel Curry bumping in the club because that's definitely not like it's seen. But if he could do something to that magnitude, I want to say, then he would probably get a lot more credit than he does now. But with everything going on with him claiming that he's the best artist alive and then you have your fans bickering back and forth about that if you're overrated or underrated to me that just doesn't seem like you have the caliber to be up there with the greats so you're getting a six out of ten you're staying at mid bro prove me wrong this has been are they mid with denzel curry uh don't forget to like share subscribe um check out my other videos i just had my jedi fallen order video up my i'm gonna work on my days gone video it's coming out soon um Check out the links, check out my channel, like, share, subscribe, go to my Instagram, like it up, do all that. I appreciate everybody watching this video. It really does mean a lot to me. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.